हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन धिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू हाऊ टू हँडल फाईल्स इन सी प्लस प्लस अपटील नाव आय हॅव कवर्ड द डिफरंट टॉपिक्स लाईक इंट्रोडक्शन टू फाईल हँडलिंग आफ्टर दॅट विच प्रिमिटिव्ह ऑपरेशन्स वी कॅन परफॉर्म ऑन अ फाईल लाईक ओपन ऑर क्लोज द फाईल रीडिंग ऑपरेशन ऑन फाईल रायटिंग ऑपरेशन ऑन अ फाईल नाव हिअर वी आर मुव्हिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर द फाईल पोझिशन पॉईंटर्स इन सी प्लस प्लस ॲज वी हॅ वी आर नोईंग हाऊ टू परफॉर्म रीड अँड राईट ऑपरेशन्स ऑन टू द फाईल दॅट ऑल द ऑपरेशन्स वी कॅन परफॉर्म इफेक्टिव्हली इफ वी नो द फाईल पोझिशन पॉईंटर्स इन सी प्लस प्लस बिफोर मुव्हिंग टू द कन्सेप्ट आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इफ अंटील टुडे यू हॅव नॉट सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल प्लीज सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स कीप द बेल रिंगिंग बिकॉज रिंगिंग बेल विल गिव्ह यू द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू व्हिडिओज ऑफ माय चॅनल डू शेअर ऑल द व्हिडिओज विथ युअर फ्रेंड्स अँड डू नॉट फरगेट टू गिव्ह द कमेंट नाव लेट स्टार्ट विथ द प्रिमिटी ऑपरेशन्स as i explained previously these different primitive operations we can perform on a file so if you want details about all these primitive operations here i am providing you a shortcut link for you first of all go through all that primitive operations on file then you can continue with this current video in short i am explaining you opening of file or if the file is not existing then the creation of file after creation of file or opening a file will make use of that file by performing reading and writing operation and after that after the task which we want to perform is finished we will close the file so in this way these are different primitive operations that we can perform on a file to perform these different primitive operations we will need different pointers which are those so while handling a file that is to perform different primitive operations we need different pointers the first one is file pointer that file pointer is responsible to keep the track of the current position of the cursor in your file so whenever you are going to open your file to perform any of the operation this file pointer will help you to track the position of current file pointer or the current position of cursor in simple language we can say that current position of cursor so this file pointer is helpful to keep the track of current position of cursor so what are different more pointers so that is file position pointers because these file position pointers are used to set or gate the current position of the file pointer this file pointer is helpful to keep the track but this file position pointers or file position um, we can say the if there are different functions they are helpful to set or gate the current position of the file pointer for example you are having 100 records in your file and particularly if you want to move to the 50th record so the movement directly to that position required position is done with the help of these different file position pointers or these file position functions so which are those and what is the functionality of that that i am going to explain you in the next slide so let's move to the next slide where the these are the functions which are used for the reposition of the file pointer so which are those we will see one by one so if i want to set the position of the file pointer in the current file what i am explaining you so to set the position here we can say that to seek the position so if i want to set the position to perform different operations like reading or writing on to the current file then which function are used so they are seek g function and seek p function here seeking is nothing but useful to set the position of file pointer and g is nothing but the get 
is nothing but the input getting is nothing but the input so that's why this function is used while reading so whenever for a reading purpose i want to read from a particular position so i will set the position of file pointer in my current file with the help of sick g function and oppositely if i want to perform writing operation onto the file from a particular position so at that time what i need to do i need to set the position of file pointer in a current file with the help of sick p function so ultimately if i want to set the position of a file pointer for different purposes i need to use the sick function so sick g is for getting operation that is nothing but the input operation and input is nothing but the reading and putting means output operation and output is nothing but the write, writing operation so to set the position of file pointer for reading purpose is sick g function and to set the position of file pointer for writing function is nothing but the sick p function so i hope you are getting the difference between sick g and sick p so if i want to set the position i will use sick function another one so if here i can set the position i can get also the position of the file pointer so to get the position here we are having different function so to get the position means it will tell the system will tell us the position of a file pointer in the current open file so to get the position of file pointer for different purposes again for the input function or for the output function or respectively the reading function or the writing function i will use the function tell g and tell p tell g will tell the position of current file current file pointer in the current file or from the current file and g stands for get that is nothing but input is nothing but the reading function so while reading if i want to get the position of a current file pointer then i will use the tell g function and if for the writing purpose i want to know the position of a file pointer in the current open file i will use tell p function so in short i am going to repeat the concept of these functions again for the current or same slide that is nothing but with these functions functions which are used to reposition the pointer from which we can set the position of pointer or we can get the position of the file pointer from the current file for setting we can think about the reading operation or the writing operation for the reading operation we will use sick g function for the writing operation we will use sick p function both are useful to set the position of file pointer if i want to get the position for reading as well as writing operation i will use tell g and tell p function respectively which will tell us the position of a file pointer in current file let's move forward for the functions one by one now let's start with the set position pointers here i have used some color code which will explain you the same thing again which i have explained in the last slide so here sick is nothing but set position of file pointer g will stand for the input function or the input functionality is nothing but the reading and if it is reading here we will use the i stream class which is nothing but the input stream class other way around the another function is sick p function is nothing but the sick put function here sick is nothing but again the set position pointer p stands for the output functionality that is nothing but the writing and it will be from the output stream class o stream class because this is the put function writing function or the output function so here again i am trying to explain you the same thing that is seeking is nothing but the setting the position of pointer for reading that is sick g function 
and writing that is sec p function now after this we will go forward for the syntax of these functions sec g and sec p function so always sec g and sec p are the functions for the stream classes i stream and o stream classes so file object is only responsible to access these functions for both the functions we will require two parameters the first parameter is nothing but the offset is nothing but the number of bytes relative to the direction and the another parameter is nothing but the direction so direction there are three total direction they are nothing but the beginning which will will start from the beginning of the stream this is the default direction if i will not use direction parameter then by default the writing or reading operation whenever you are going to use the sig g or sig p respectively it will start automatically by default from the beginning if you will skip this parameter the second direction is the current position so it is related to the current position and last one is the end from the end it will start the counting the number of bytes in the offset whatever you have mentioned in the offset it will count that number of bytes from the either beginning from the current position of the per cursor or from the end of the file we will see the examples for the same so for the sig g function that is for the reading purpose i have given five different examples in these first two examples i have skipped the second parameter if i am skipping the second parameter it means that by default it will start from the beginning in the both the examples here you can see that the direction is nothing but the beginning so this function is repositions the file get pointer why i am writing this get pointer because this is nothing but the sig g function so this i am going to perform for the reading purpose so file get pointer to the beginning of the file because the offset is nothing but again zero so from the zeroth byte from the beginning it will reposition the file pointer here i am giving giving the first parameter as n so i am set i am seeking or setting the position of file pointer to the nth position from the beginning okay here nth position because i am i have given the offset as n let's see the next example sig g n ios beginning here ios beginning it stands for it will start from the beginning but it will from the nth position from the beginning now you can see this example and this example both are same because here if i am skipping the direction it will take automatically beginning and here i am giving that the second parameter as beginning itself so both the functions will work similarly now let's go forward for the fourth example that is nth position nth byte from the end of the file so this sig g function will set the or reposition the file pointer to the nth position from end of the file so it will go in reverse direction from end to the nth position because here i have given the nth byte after that if i am giving the zeroth byte that is from the end of the file zeroth byte is nothing but ultimately the end of the file so last byte of the file so it repositions the file get pointer to end of the file because end of the file is nothing but the zeroth byte from the end so in this way i can use these different combinations to set the position of pointer for the reading purpose now let's go forward for the next example that is for the sig b that is put function for the writing purpose all the same examples only the difference is that instead of sig g i have used sig p over here they are used for the writing purpose you can pause this video and you can see the example one by one okay 
so now let's move forward for the next function is nothing but the tell function so as i explained previously this tell function will tells the location or the position of a pointer for reading as well as writing purpose the same thing i have used the color code over here that is tell is nothing but tells the position of pointer or the location of pointer so for g g stands for the get that is nothing but the input that is nothing but the reading purpose and it is from the i stream class because this is the input so it tells the position of file pointer while performing the input operation and this tell p is the function which will tells the position of file pointer while putting operation or output operation so tell is tells location of pointer p is for the put is nothing but the writing purpose and this put is nothing but the writing is nothing but the output operation that's why it belongs to the o stream class so i hope you must be able to understand the tell g and tell p functions and here in the tell g and tell p function there is no any parameter is available because for setting we need to provide where we want to set the pointer but here tell g and tell p are the functions used to get the position of pointers or the system will tells us the position of pointer so what it will return it returns the position of pointer so this is the main difference that is for setting the position we need to provide the position at which we want to set the position of file pointer but here in tell functions we are getting the position of pointer from the system so that's why system will return the value from the function that value is nothing but the position of the pointer in terms of integers so how we are going to represent that so this is the syntax that is integer variable we need to write down where this variable will collect the value of the position of the pointer again the same thing this tell g tell p both the functions are accessible by the object file object or a file pointer both functions are accessible by only the file pointer who will tells the position while g is for while reading and p is for while writing so both the function will return the position of current file pointer i have not given any example over here whenever you will write down a program here only it tells the position of current a uh, cursor position from the current file so thank you dear friends for listening and watching my video if you like the video please do not forget to give the comment here i am providing you the subscription link please subscribe my channel along with this i am providing you the shortcut link for the next video from this series and for the same series i am providing you the playlist please go through all these videos and stay tuned with tech talks thank you friends